Hi everyone, welcome back to the Silicon Valley Indicators video series. I'm Rachel Massaro, Vice President at Joint Venture Silicon Valley and Senior Researcher at our Silicon Valley Institute for Regional Studies. Thank you for subscribing. We really hope you're enjoying the series. If at any point in time you have comments or suggestions, please feel free to email us directly at institute at jointventure.org. In the meantime, let's see what we have for you today. Today we're going to be talking about the birth rate in Silicon Valley. So here we are on the Silicon Valley Indicators website in the Talent Flows and Diversity section. I'll navigate directly into births. And you can see that we've charted from 1980 through to 2016 the birth rate in Silicon Valley. That's the green line. And California, that's the red line corresponding to the secondary y-axis. You'll notice that our birth rate peaked around 1992, and since then we've had a couple of peaks, including 2008 before the birth rate started to decline. Now it's a relatively well-known phenomenon that birth rates tend to decline during times of economic recession. What's really interesting here is that our birth rate doesn't seem to have recovered even as we emerged from the recession. Here we are in 2016 with 32,000 births throughout the entire region. We haven't had a birth rate that low since the mid-1980s. Now we actually examined this trend in great detail a couple of years ago when Silicon Valley's population hit 3 million. We looked at all sorts of population characteristics, but birth rate was included. It turns out that yes, women are waiting longer and longer to have children. They're having about the same number of children on average as they used to, so that doesn't explain it. But what really seems to be explaining this trend is the declining share of women of childbearing age. The number of women of childbearing age between 15 and 44 in our region is not increasing as quickly as the overall population. Now to give us some insights into Silicon Valley's birth rate, what's really happening, let's hear from Joint Venture Board Member Susan Smarr. She's Physician-in-Chief at Kaiser Permanente's Medical Center in Santa Clara, and she's also a Doctor of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Within Kaiser Permanente, we've actually seen an increase in our birth rate the past several years. From 2014 to 2015, 5%. From 2015 to 2016, another 4%. And this year, we're actually expecting a baby boom for the months of July, August, and September. Whether it's the booming Silicon Valley economy or more people with health insurance, it's just really not clear. And that's all we have time for today. From the Silicon Valley Institute for Regional Studies, thanks for joining us.